graduate students. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your website using the Zoom window. In the first video, we created the style design of the images. So now we're going to put the website together. So to do that in the Zoom window, we're going to choose the start screen, which you see over here. First up, we're going to define the name of the image of the site. Then we're going to pass down the subdomain name. Here you have a site folder back in the first video. So let's go back to the site folder. Type on. That is the name of my site folder. Then we're going to copy that. Save. Okay. Now you can see my site folder is opened up right here. And the reason why we do this is because the next time you open the Zoom window, you don't need to browse the site folder again. You just click on the drop down menu and then you follow the website right to the bottom of this with me. You select the site you want to work on and the Zoom window opens up your site folder. So for the view site folder, and if you want to edit your view here site, you just click on view here site. So I'm going to select my site, click on edit, click on edit. Now I'm going to create a new site. So let's create a new site. Okay, I'll save it. video and I stored my web pages right here so let's add a few more images to that too so I'm going to click right here store add a new file new so it's Athena and then click on athena.html click view now I have a brand new HTML page okay which is typing yourwebsite.com in the browser or actually there's any website URL for that on the extension the browser will look for an index page inside of the site folder of the web server so the index page is the home page above other pages we have the product page which is again the site folder and above there the rest of the web server same thing is available on yourwebsite.com forward slash product.html and if you have a folder named site folder then yourwebsite.com forward slash folder name forward slash and then you'll find me if you don't type in find me and then folder name the browser will look for an index page and that product will appear over here as well so that's how it works okay i'll click save and let's talk about the enhanced connectivity let's go to preview you see the actual page on the screen we're very close to our website Of websites in the Zoom window, and that's what the first one was about. The second one is uh, the one from the start drag, and down here is the HTML enter drag. Every drag has a start drag and an enter drag, and the enter is definitely going to go into the first drag. So this is my HTML enter drag. I have to keep everything inside of your HTML drag. Okay, the third line is my head start drag. The head tags are not visible when you click over the drag link important inside my head tag I have a meta tag for the character sorting the UTF is uh, is the default that's what most web pages use and I have my meta tag for that as well which are the type sorting tags okay and then I have my title and star tag so my title and my title enter drag so my general is my title enter drag again every drag has a star drag drag and the enter is definitely going to go into the first drag okay and my head enter drag I see a gap you know the browser is only as full as it can stand so I didn't feel like it's going to take any more time so I just added a new one right here as well okay and the next one I have is the body star drag so again everything that's actually visible inside of your browser on this page will be inside of your body drag so go to design view real quick Type in a few paragraphs. Okay, that's 
control him. Uh, now I've got a spot there. I have a hole. So as long as I press my star right there, I have an auto progress and there's my spot in one sec and I can just keep going. So if I try to get it as visible inside of my browser, will be inside of my body there and you can put as many tags as you want inside of there but if you draw the body tag for example and then you draw the pharaoh tag it has to create your pharaoh tag first and then you can create your body tag so the tags cannot overlap each other okay so let's talk about how that process is going to start again inside of my page basically if you use these tags to rule out characters you can also use fingers but fingers feels too much work we don't like that. You can also create your ruler, but we use this for everything else. So I go to design view, and I go to these tags inside of there. Fill out my info panel. Uh, you can't find my info panel. It's still in the window menu. I go to my info. I go to common. I go to this tag. And I fill out my star tag for my body. Like that, I have my star, my body tag. Class star, I can make another class star and then this tag. And all the difference between class star and ID star is that ID is a unique item inside of each element, therefore, I can only make one in ID star and one item in ID. So, this is unique because I have class star and class star element. And then I go to Pro Display, I go to the Blue Dots inside, which is this one right here. I go to class star as the class star it doesn't mean it will be dealing inside of it because it's a class star an id star it doesn't mean it will be have tags in front of it okay so this one i'm going to use inside of this document only later on i'm going to use it inside of tags as well but this is going to be this one right now okay so the box earlier 
everything that is visible inside the browser. So for me, it will be inside the process. After my body process, I'm going to choose the process. Now I'm just going to do the first one. So the body process, the best style of browsing that says source this guy. Then I have the steps inside of this guy that are going to be for to search this guy. Process is entered. Another process I'm going to do the process and then I have the process that starts from earlier. So these are how I have all these steps and then the body inset I'm going to do the inset. Then inside of my head first I have my CSS style sheet embedded. This is my style process and this is my style inset. CSS is a language that works for most browsers in the world and CSS style sheet is good for the first set of rules. Don't worry about the rules inside of your style sheet. Just set it up and deal with it. So I source this guy. Then I'm going to do the security scrum with CSS lifestyle. Then inside of the scroll races, I have all the properties of browser that I saw on the desktop. Inside I want it. Background, margin, and number. And it's pretty simple to choose. So the property, type, for example, and the class that I want to work with. That should be changed over time. Now there are three different ways to configure CSS style sheets. One way is generate a style sheet, like this one, and then I can create it myself and add it to my website. The second way is an external style sheet file just for themes. The benefit of using an external style sheet is that I can style it down into the correct size and put it in place. All I need is an external CSS file, and I can define all of my rules for that file to be entirely black and white. And in my head set, I only need a room for the CSS file, so that the browser can see what I wanted. That's what I'm going to use more often. And the third way is an email style. So around the parts where it says I'm searching for it, I can put an email style. Then I can just type in any property that starts with CSS. So I can put the color. These are the three ways to configure CSS style sheets. Again, embedded style sheet comes with a headset. External style sheet file just for the theme group and the email style. You can use all three of those to style your elements. But if you style an element in all three different style sheets, the browser will be unable to do more than one style sheet. The online style is the most efficient style sheet. So it takes precedence over the embedded and the external style sheet. The embedded style sheet is the second and then the external style sheet is the last. Okay, now I'm going to see what it prepares. Let's go back. The embedded style sheet is the one that I want. Then I'm going to put a website together using the images that I created back in the first video. And this was a brand new gift set. Okay, then I'm going to actually just set the body body up. Better. Then I apply a new tab style to my gift set and then let's continue. Style it right away. Let's add an insert. Then the class style, that's the theming. So the material is what it is, so the general class style. And now I create a new style sheet file. So I can style my entire website in this one as well. CSS file, create a new order, and then add a style. So now I can apply the new CSS style to my style. Okay, now the CSS file is now saved. And it's doing the exact same as CSS file for me. I can start styling my content as well. So I'm going to define my CSS file. So the box. background image and then I have the image that I put in black and white. Okay, and then I can just put right now the actual content that I saw inside of the body. So I'll put background, I'll browse my background. Set the container, so I can start 
about the header bar here, the input here, this might be the screen here, this has a header bar. In this case, we're going to use the right arrow cursor, click on the left side, click on the header bar here in the sidebar, drag that away. In this case, we're going to go to the screen on the left side, click on the sidebar, cursor, click on the first box, and then click on the header bar there, click on the drag and drop border, drag it to the center of the screen here, and then go to the top of the screen. So this has a way of designing these to pop down here.
around for a few seconds. Okay. And then we'll take care of the bunny. Put our tray down. And uh, he will not be in the presence of us with the bunny. Our driver. Won't be in the presence of us with the bunny. Okay. Here's the bunny. Now he's seen the best of me. You know, he probably has brought the bunny before, but that way I know he can breathe in for a little and breathe out for a little. Just to hold him in. But if I've seen the best of him, he can relax. Now I'm going to come in and do a little bit of the Achilles ankle. Okay, a little pop. And uh, I have a speech to repeat for more than maybe five or ten. But just to be very logical, I feel as though everything has to be for the best of me. Or else I'll kill you. Or I'll kill you softly. Or I will. Or I might not have enough speech to repeat for more than seven or eight or even ten. Okay, let's try it. And he will be fighting off Bonnie in his body turn. And uh, he's going to also ask for all the best of my entire body turn. So I will give him his best of body turn. I will try to give him at least a third Pullman. I said the Pullman turn would be in area. I would prefer that we have area, but if we don't have area, I'll give him a Liddy Crush. If we don't have Tall Liddy Crush, I'll give him a Pullman to Eat. So that would be me. Again, I'm going to put Pullman in right here. If you want to do some turns that make a second or a third option, but I don't think it matters that much. Because most drivers are definitely going to want aerial. Otherwise, most people use turns that don't have aerial, but are not able to call Liddy Crush. Let's see how the second turn is going. Good turn. I could also put the Pullman right on his left. What I've flagged down before, so I don't have to change that. I feel as though everything has to be for its value. And I don't want to see my opponent get any more than enough. Okay. Now I definitely want aerial. But I want to try my best to ride it in. So I could just put him in right on his very first turn grab. I give him a headline. And I'll probably just back in. And he is going to have it. He's going to have headline in one. Okay. My headline is now ready to be called in his turn grab. I'm not a speed check anymore. I have lost the speed game as such because he is going to get his AMD plus one back on speed check. And I'm pretty sure he's probably going to have me fight him in his body turn. I'm going to try my luck for a second, but I'm not going to do that. I'll give my first turn grab my second turn grab. Oops, stop headline. And I'll give him a Liddy Crush on his two. Okay, the heavy one will definitely go far away than the heavy speed check. And I think because he's going to board me, I will make the main headline and he's going to have headline in one. And I might have a five turn left. I can call a fourth turn one. I do prefer that he has the first turn free. shouldn't be used more than once per game, but you can use heading 3, heading 4, as many times as you want, and you can go all the way down to heading 8, actually I don't use heading 8, I use heading 3, and then heading 4 to back in, but if you need more different types of board headlines, you can use just heading 1, okay let's try my heading, let's try to make sure that he has the main headline, let's put my first turn inside of it, But that's why it's much easier to put your best of your body turn on. That way, when he stops you, he's probably going to be ready to board you. And I'm going to make my move. So I'm going to make sure that I lock it up. I lock it up on two. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, let's see what he's got. 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 Let's see what he's
ini kita mulai dari awal dulu ya di Indonesia sudah syukur Allah masih ada kita juga mau ngapain kita nggak ada yang tahu kita yang kita bocah yang terus bisa kencang terus bisa terus bisa kan di dunia seperti ini ini udah sudah ada yang tahu kita kita nggak perlu ngapa ngapain lagi itu aja dulu sih aku tips yang aku kasih ke kamu jadi kalau aku sama aku kan punya personal goal kan punya suatu goal yang aku pengen capai di masa depan ya aku terus uh, with number one goal in mind but it's not easy to do Since it is a personal commitment, you need to continue to do the hard things. But if you need it, put it into action. So that's my number one idea for sure. This is my next tip that I got on a little bit earlier today. Let's go to the next paragraph. Kenapa 
slide is correct. That was my next point there. First, I'm going to fill out our black and green lines. Select them back. Go to my properties tab here. HTML tab. And I have some text right here. So I apply my yellow text and I select it back. Okay, my text is now designated by a stand inline tag. Let's make my text a bit black to it. Go to Form. And here's my stand star tag. Take my class style, apply to it. And I have a stand inline tag as well. Go back to Design View. My shape is now a black and white tag. Apply my inline tag. And I start playing around with the class style. basically a standard inline tag with a class style applied to it but I can apply a class style to any kind of tag put my cursor inside of a paragraph select my paragraph tag and I apply my yellow text tag to my selected paragraph tag okay I go into code I can see that my yellow text style is applied to my paragraph tag to get rid of it I can delete the class style This is how you apply a class style to fill in a new thing, but if you don't want to create a new class style, you can also style text in your lines. I go to Form View, and here I want to style my paragraph. Type in my style, set a class, and now I can type in my property and value to get back my field tag. Type in text in my center, close it off, spacebar. problem with this method of styling is that if you want to apply the same property to multiple elements then you generally lay out a code you can only do this if you want to style it to one particular element and you're not going to apply that property to everything else okay I go to the code and let's talk about the hex tag thing let's do a couple things in between there the first thing you need is a page title so I'm going to give you my page in the browser appears in the search engine so I will give it a name as well okay and I open the listing and the very first line here is the page title for each of these individual web pages and basically you need a relevant keyword loaded page title for your web pages and it has to contain a beneficial web feature or feature on your site I go back to Viewmeter type in your actual page title right here since it has these kind of characters I'll paste one of my titles in just to give you an example and I sell a view meter course so this title is relevant and keyword loaded as well okay I also need a description map tag which can also show up in the search engine applied to it as a page title so it also has to be relevant to the page I want to give it our page title tag panel and down here I have my head and my meta tag okay and the value field type in description change the color and the content field type in your own description make it relevant to your page put some most important keywords in it it should be like a sentence so I need to keep the sentence here again I paste one of my descriptions in just to give you an example okay and here's my description meta tag I also need a keyword map tag keywords won't show up anywhere but I need them in case search engines don't look at it and I show you how to use description tag I go back to my head and I change it to meta tag value field type in keywords
by some special keywords that are relevant to your audience needs. Then I can send you to your own website for that example.
about the open line to get otherwise doomed to fail out of the building. And we also have the two right here. Right there. Stop and stun them. Take care of the intruder. And then up these ladders to doom you. Go to the stand pit. Mostly because this person has not been here for a reason, but also because of you for the wrong reason. Usually the company is always the one to blame, hmm? But I'm gonna name the header now. Let's see what happens. We could put the ad right here and here. Stop and kill effect. Stop the infantry. And the header name is not good enough for the header name, but it should be. Now we're gonna need the one here and make it automatic jet loader. Let's see if we can get that off.
give you the order of where we've written them out. Keep this and then keep the above and then keep them in the black space. So instead of looking at them like that, how about we do this? Okay. Three. And we'll put that one in the line. Three. Put that one back in the line. And that one will be the other way around here. Bloody, and then we'll take the bloody, and then we'll do this, and we'll keep this like 